Welcome Tauruses and when I say thank you for being here this is the Aquarian season for the abundance and prosperity so Taurus says um thank you for returning thank you for thank you for showing your likes shares and support so Taurus says a lot is going on here um a whole lot is going on here so you have the two of pentacles what is the energy of the two of pentacles um jupiter and capricorn so this is a good good sign taurus rick um your reputation for some of you taurus this is on the line um jupiter in a taurus in capricorn so capricorn is the eighth house and jupiter is the ninth house okay and Jupiter is about unexpected surprises, okay? Go with the flow. Whatever is happening and transpiring is about going with the flow. And it's about restoring of balance. Now, what is here is that you need to restore the balance in your financial world. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, um, it is a situation, Taurus, is that you your financial situation is out of balance and you need to re learn to restore it in the spirit. A lot of you, Tauruses, are having some sort of... Uh, problems with your reputation and problems with a capricorn because this is uh, jupiter in capricorn and jupiter in capricorn because these two houses are together so you're having some sort of a business situation business association overseas problem overseas with your business that sort of a thing could be coming up for a lot of you capricorn um <laughs> a lot of you tauruses okay so you get a face um, and, and, and recognize the situation and, you know, bring back some balance because when Jupiter is in Capricorn, is restoring balance, okay? Um, it is about depicting the balance, correction, um, juggling things and balancing out your financial stability. As we look at the second week, the second week has to do with the, from the 27th to on till the second and what we have here in the second week is a good good energy nothing can stop you you have the energy of the nine of cups okay the ten of cups now the ten of cups is Mars in Pisces Mars in Pisces so the riches flow okay so um the energy in the second week is Mars in Pisces this is good um this Mars and Spices energy is the richest flow of water, accumulation of uh, achievement completed with great satisfaction. And this is going to be good. So um, the second week, week of the 26th until the 3rd, I think, 27th until the 2nd of February is going to be good. So uh, you're going to be recognizing this sort of a situation in um, the fourth week, how a positive aligned energy is going to be. So uh, you came in with a, a sense of unbalancing that is going to be bringing you balance in the second week. And this is going to be good because when we have Mars in Pisces, so this is as if you're ending all the dream time and recognizing um, you know, how to accumulate your riches and achievement um, in the second period. And this is going to be very, very good. So this Aquarian season is actually going to be bringing you some sort of a wonderful alignment of energy. And this is going to be good. Then we have the Ace of Swords. So in the third week, and the third week is from um, um, the third until the ninth. Yeah. So the third until the ninth, you some sort of a communication problem is going to be coming up. So it's not a week to communicate. Anything to do with business, money, prosperity, not a week to communicate. This is in the reverse. So, so it's as if your communication or whatever you have communicated had created some sort of a problem for you. Um Tauruses, okay, you Tauruses. The power of strength of uh, thinking. Mental clarity is not good in this week. Okay. So communication and mental clarity is not going to be good in this week. So be aware of this. Okay. You're handling um, the swords in the wrong way. 
okay the symbolizing of expressing um spirit the tool of the sun so what is transpiring here is that um communication and the clarity of thought um clear 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 clarity of thoughts is not going to be good it's really not going to be good in this week so recognize uh, what is happening what is going on in order to exhilarate yourself uh, and make sure that you do not use the communication skill in this week because it's not going to be one of a very positive energy okay um so be aware of this what is transpiring then as we look at the six of one the last week the six of one is the card of victory okay but there is no victory for you um tauruses there was some sort of an issue because it has a jupiter in leo jupiter in leo is supposed to be luck and it's supposed to be victory but you don't have that because of some sort of uh um creative a beneficial relationship as a win-win relationship so a situation that you're dealing is not going to be a win-win okay um it's not going to be coming out as how you had expected the story says so you have to be aware and aligned with the energies remember that this is a season of hair you are earth okay so communication is not good in this week for you guys and you see that a situation that you had expected to be a win-win solution is not going to be a win-win solution. You're actually not going to be winning the sand, Tauruses, whatever that was happening and transpiring. It, you're not going to be winning um, whatever that was coming up, whatever that was affecting you and whatever that was creating some sort of an imbalance. So a lot of you Tauruses could be dealing with bank financial institution, okay? And some of you, Taurus, is some sort of a communication that you need to do because you're balancing something in order to bring back uh, financial stability in your world. But in the third week, it's not a week to do anything. The best week to do anything is in the second week. Okay, so um, we have a total and we go off of a total different calling there um, because... Um, um, Aquarians begin on the 20th of January okay so you have to recognize uh, from the 27th until the 2nd of February is going to be your best best week in this Aquarian season you got to recognize that you're dealing with duality you're dealing with two you're dealing with ten ten is always a new start um, 10 is new start, new happenings that is going to be giving you long-term stability moving forward. But the third week with the energy of the swords is not a good week for you to do any communication because clarity of communication, um, clarity of mind is not going to be good for you, Tauruses. So be alert and um, aware of what is transpiring. Then we see the last week, which is going to be coming up the tent until the 16th now the energy of the tent until the 16th is uh, number six but there is going to be some sort of an instability that is going to be coming up for you tauruses because you had hope for a situation to be a win-win and it's not going to be so this is why we do the seasons in order to recognize how the season is going to be helping you and as a Taurus, you work with the second house. And what we see here um, that is coming up uh, is that uh, um, anything to do with any decision, any um, decision uh, to do with mergers, business partnership is not going to be um, in your best interest to do that in this Aquarian season because it is going to be throwing you off guard so this is why we do the seasons in order for you to recognize when it's good to make uh, some sort of a new decision some sort of a business some sort of a starting of business that sort of a thing as you recognize in the second week which is your very best week because this is uh, um the most wonderful alignment of energy the best week that you have is the second week and that is from the 27th until the second what is transpiring here is that whenever you have uh, 
the energy of Mars in Pisces is good because you're breaking down all barriers and black blockages that was blocking your financial stability and opening up new doors of stability. So when we look at the energy of 10, 10 in any business thing is about um, creating a new start, bringing, creating really a new start, it's, you know, starting over a new um, and, and, and creating balance in your financial world that was out of balance. Okay. Business wise, it is uh, the second week is good to make whatever business decision. The rest of the week is not good. So between um, the 27th and the second is going to be the best time to make any decision. Um, communication is going to be off in the third week and in the fourth week, um, whatever you were open that it, 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 it happens for you in, um, in, in the way you wanted it, it is not going to be happening in that the way. So be aware. So Taurus says in order to find out, um, um, what is the frequency for this Aquarian P um, season, you have to, um, you know, use the blue link if you're not yet a member, because a lot of members and thanks to all the members, um, use the blue link in order to choose one of these signal, these symbol and these symbols is going to be showing you and aligning you with what to do to clear up whatever is going on. Show your likes by thumbs up, thumbs up and share, share, share. I will speak to you next time. See you on the other side in order to choose your symbol. Namaste.